2014. I know. I know the resolution on this video. It's gonna look like crap. And that's because I'm using a 10-year-old webcam. Messages need to be sent. And quality. It's the quality of the message. live this, this is this is wrong that's not the point though okay the point is I want you to imagine a future where there is next to no ice at the poles in particular the North Pole okay now obviously Obviously, there's been a big kerfuff, kerfluffle, ker, kerfluffle, a, um, a big thing between um, Russia or the USSR and uh, the United States. Um, and it's 
settled, right? For the most part. Um, freaking Russia even added blue to their flag. So now they're red, white, and blue. Just like the old uh, English flag. Red, white, and blue. I heard that, huh? Red, white, and blue. Anyway, not a video about colors. This video is about this video is about the Arctic Ocean. And more importantly, of things, you know, think of the reindeer people, think of the reindeer, they will not survive in tropical climates, not that it will be tropical, 
ever. But it is not impossible. But I want you to consider about what it's like to be a person who does not live in a region such as this. And who sees it as a resource. person. Um, not a million. One thousand years in the future. Who looks back? One thousand years into the past. And sees what has been done. Well, they see the state that things are in, in their life. No matter what, no matter what horrible things we do, we just, no matter what, I mean, there will be people and other things. Way better people than us. Much better. Well, don't worry. Not right now. It is important that I leave this video in its entirety, and it is not edited. It is one continuous stream. one important point and I'm going to probably have already got the message but there is so much to be said about the efficiency and yes, I, know. I know the polar bears suffer. Oh no. And the polar bears that do have to suffer. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Polar bears that do have to suffer. And so what polar bears that you know you you've adapted so well to such a harsh climate. And you you are amazing creatures. I know polar bears don't understand English, and I know they probably will never be talked to in any way. Thought lines. Can't relate our feelings to a polar bear. some way, some way, that's the important thing, the way, 
now. Now it's us. It is. It really is us. Okay. And of us, there are people who have tremendous influence on other us and other life and other resources and material. Some of those people might not care at all about the effects that they have on others who do not. They do not directly profit from it. But some of them do. Some of them do care about some things. humans, we are not so much limiting as we are making things possible, and we are making important things possible, and one of those things is resources being shared, and yes, I know, I know things are going to get boring, diversity is going to drop. so many other cool things I wanted to talk about. I mean, for instance, okay. Svalbard. I thought, hey, what a neat coincidence. The people who... I mean, it's not a coincidence. I, uh, I don't think it was intended. It might have been intended by the people who made that you know that sea vault? Uh, I have not hope they say that before. Um, that it just kind of happens to be between Russia and the U.S. And I know Canada's there and Canada, you know, if you're watching. I know you're there. An important player, or you might you might get used. You might get used, or maybe you're using. You're the middleman. What do you do? I can't remember who it is that owns um, all of <coughs> um, what country Greenland is a part of. Um, I'm fairly certain it's a Scandinavian country. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Norwegian. I think it's Norwegian, but it's possibly someone else. And I don't even remember what country Svalbard is. Svalbard, Norway? I think it's, I think it's Norway. I think it's
it's really cool that they're positioned right there. It reminds me of space and people in the space agency, the scientists, the human beings who care, and the human beings who do. I've made 